guys, it's Matt Latham, the Maniacal Matt. I have decided to actually revisit a um, sauce that I did a long time ago, like when I first started doing this, and I thought it was extremely hot. Yeah, it's got three different uh, languages for ingredients, and the only thing I can tell in it is Carolina Reaper, and that's at the top. There's not an English ingredient for this guy here. But yeah, I've done this one a while back uh, when I first started doing little challenges and little things with Johnny and little Dave, or David uh, the Pepper Apprentice. And uh, I found it in the fridge today. I was just looking at it and I was like, I said, wait, we can revisit this guy and see what he's all about now. Because I know this thing lit me up whenever I did it. I know it's hot, but I just want to see how I react to it now. It's called uh, Fonzie's Insane Hot Sauce. I hope you guys can see that. It's almost, uh, I wouldn't even call it a sauce, it's almost a paste. These guys have got some cool products. That's where we got the um, revolver challenge that we did with Johnny. And uh, it had the big chocolate chili pepper that we did with him also. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give this guy another shot and see what it was all about. I think this will probably be the last time you will ever see him. And I can already smell the reaper in this thing. I ain't even got it close to my nose. Yeah. It, it smells hot. I'm going to set this guy right here for a second. got to give him a chase the heat spoon. You know, the mother of pearl. Right there, guys. And gals. <clears throat> I'm not even going to try to pour this on a attempt to even pour it. Just gonna go in and get a spoonful of it and see what it's all about. It's so full of seeds and I don't know, I'm sure I can tilt this to where y'all can see it. That stuff is major seeds and clumps of crud and goo and everything else in there. I don't know. I don't remember if it was good when I tried it the last time, but I know it was hot, and I can smell this. It smells insane. It's a good name for it. Fonzie's Insane Hot Sauce. So, enough said. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to try it and see what it's about now. You can taste, I mean, of course you can taste the reaper in it, but maybe some garlic. I don't, I can't read it. I don't know what's actually in it. It's a difference. It's, it's to me, it tastes a little smoky, which I'm not a fan of, but, uh, Man, that's, this stuff's hot for a hot sauce. And like I said, it's almost like a paste. I'll do one more little scoop of it. I think we'll be good with that critter. Yeah, this stuff's warm. I'm gonna feel that in the back of my throat. That's I don't know, I'm thinking mouth burn wise, maybe a one, which is 
pretty warm for a sauce. Said I could I could eat this whole thing, but I'm not I'm not a big huge fan of the smoky flavor taste anymore. I think when I did this review, I was under the assumption you know they've made everything look good, but I said it's not a bad sauce, but it's just it to me it's real smoky. It does give you a good little mouth burn though. I said I got a, about a half now. It, it dropped off pretty quick, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a cool website to go on, you guys. <clears throat> Not gonna do any more of it. Yeah, that's warm. That's one of the warmer sauces I've had here lately. Um, that would probably put a normal person at five or six easy. Um, yeah, go on their website though. They've got all kind of cool things on there, and they're. I know it's overseas, but it's pretty inexpensive as far as the uh, this. I'm not looked at the uh, shipping for it yet. Kind of dreading that. But yeah, it's called uh, Fonzie's Insane Hot Sauce. But uh, definitely look them guys up. They've got some cool products. And uh, anything from little chocolate challenges to the hot sauces, they've got uh, spices, just, they've got one thing I want to try, it's out of stock, it's a uh, Reaper oil, but it comes in a skull with the actual pourer on it that you can reuse for something else later on, it's a pretty nifty looking thing, it's only like $22, but I don't know what it would cost to ship it, I'll just have to find all that out later on. Probably I'm looking to get some of that this weekend. But alright guys, <clears throat> hope you liked the video. If you did, comment. Hope everybody's day was good. Just let me know. Um, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate each and every one of you. And we've got some other people I need to give a shout out to. Check out Heat My Shorts. He's does some good stuff. Uh, Red the Grizzly. Or Rick Griffin, Grizzly Heat, and uh, Blue Collar Rob, he done a few Carolina Reaper pods yesterday, I believe, and, uh, but yeah, go check them guys out, they're doing some pretty cool stuff, Uncle Remus does some pretty good uh, sauce reviews, and uh, definitely check out Chase the Heat, Blazing Foods, all that, um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up on that. If uh, you're not a subscriber, just go ahead and click the button. I'm going to have some challenges to do this weekend, hopefully. And uh, you can check those out if you'll subscribe. And it's the Maniacal Matt. And once again, Fonzie's Insane Hot Sauce. I said, it's not terrible, but I'm not a big fan of the smoky tasting sauces. And we're going to leave it at that, you guys. Hope you all have a good night. And I am out of here. Later, guys.